I'm the analyst. Very good evening, everyone. You are watching CBR English with me, Vasvi Kaliru. Our special show focus on the Big Boss, which says Zero Boss, in which we discuss about the phenomenon of the special reality show, in which uh, the election has brought into much controversy in these days. So, joining us, we have Sunil. Hello, sir. Good evening. Uh, good evening, uh, Vasvi. Yeah. So. We are here to discuss something more about Big Boss. Can you please explain something, uh, the phenomena of Big Boss to your audience today? Well, Big Boss is definitely a phenomenon. There's no two words about it. In fact, ever since it started in Holland uh, by a Dutch company, Endemol, it has had versions across the world. You have versions in France, you have versions in UK, of which uh, we had Shilpa Shetty as the major contestant. And Shilpa actually won that round of Big Boss and you had some controversy surrounding how there were racist comment against, comments against uh, Priyanka Chopra. So the entire phenomenon of Big Boss is one sense a tamasha to okay. make it an easy language. But it's entertainment and we know okay. entertainment is never easy. Uh, there are definitions of entertainment which sometimes some people find it very easy to give. There are some definitions which are very hard. For example, uh, there are shows which are actually very voyeuristic. There are shows like uh, uh, which talk about couples on a beach, the uh, shows which talk about really serious matters, the shows which are exclusively catering to certain demographies. Now, Big Boss, by its nature, is a show which is catering to a family audiences. Across the world, uh, there has been no restrictions in terms of watching of Big Boss. Families watch it, uh, kids watch it, youth watch it, every section of the audience which watches it gets addicted to it. And that kind of addiction is something which a lot of people are really pissed off for, in the sense that they really don't understand why something which is so voyeuristic, something which kind of denotes so many of negative connotations, so there's fights, there's cat fights, there is contrived situations in which you have uh, contestants fighting against each other, trying to prove the point, and sometimes you feel that the fights between the contestants are actually not something which they should be fighting off. Perhaps People even say that the voting pattern, the counting pattern, in fact, the entire show in which in the direction which is heading is purely farcical. Okay. In a sense, in a sense, there is no uh, uniform measurement in which uh, the show operates, and this wave thing is very random and perhaps scripted by the uh, producers of the show. Okay, so I'm very surprised. Does this kind of show we need it? Ah, uh, okay. Now, entertainment is something you we really can't say no. Okay. Uh, we have seen cases where everybody has asked questions about, about say, Netflix, or they have asked questions about other OTT platforms. They have asked questions about, do we need this kind of movies? Do we need this kind of uh, voyeuristic show? Do we need this traffic restrictions? Or perhaps, recently, do we need people going out and uh, social lockdown? So, so what's the origin of Big Boss show? Yeah, that's How it is designed? Absolutely. So, it started as uh, Big Bear actually. Okay. Uh, it was started by a Dutch company called Endemol uh, in, the, in Amsterdam. And that show, uh, like I probably say one and a half decades back, hmm. that show proved extremely popular. And then you had copycat versions across the world. Of course, the licensee of this particular original show is the Dutch company. Uh, Endemol. In fact, uh, people know this company is like very familiar, and uh, it is. It comes as a credit title for all the Big Boss, Big Boss Telugu also, which is currently the perhaps uh, as its producers want to call it the top rated show. That also is being produced by Endemol, and uh, Big Brother transformed into Big Boss when it came to Indian shows. Okay. Currently, Big Boss is available in seven Indian languages. That's so, you can, so, so, yeah, so you can imagine the kind of rapid popularity this kind of format has got. Hmm. So there is some kind of uh, thing in the show called housemates. So why do we call this contestant as housemates? Well, What's the story behind <laughs> it? <laughs> well, uh, I, I think it's, a, it's purely a terminology which uh, the producers of the show have manufactured. Mm -hmm. They are called housemates, they are called contestants, they have a captain, they have small games and other things which they play inside the big house. The house, in fact the house itself is not a house, it's actually a uh, mansion in the sense that you've got a swimming pool which is a, like probably a mini swimming pool and uh, filled with water. Yeah. I don't know how clear the water is. I'm, 
uh, the looks of it, when I look at the swimming pool, I really feel that not, no contestant should be perhaps swimming on it. But the point being that uh, this is actually a manufactured uh, kind of an studio setting mm -hmm. uh, attached to earlier uh, versions of Big Boss Telugu where, in fact, major Big Boss uh, India were shot in Mumbai actually, mm -hmm. near Lonavla. So they have a huge uh, studio there and on one part of the studio they had an opening in which uh, they manufactured a small seating area and this kind of a seating area was one that was open to air. So you have generators, you got like huge amount of crew operating there. Uh, this particular set was of course uh, out of limits. But mm -hmm. I understand what you are asking. You are asking is the terminology. The terminology is pure incidental. There is no definite uh, kind of an argument as to why this technology has come. Perhaps the producers of the show decided that okay, let's call this housemate, let's just call it Big Boss, and let's call it Captain. And they so, uh, like as uh, years pass by, the audience are facing such uh, speculations that if the show is scripted, it's not anymore looking like a reality. But though the producers themselves present it as a reality, it's not looking anyway. It's not completely scripted. So what do you have to tell on it? Uh, see, these accusations of uh, uh, this show being scripted, as in like really manipulating the audience, has come from the idea that uh, one prime uh, reason is that in several aspects of the voting pattern, uh, fans have actually tried to push the agenda of a certain participant maybe a pop, popular participant. And this has been happening through all the Big Boss versions. So what happens is that when the fans are really uh, going after supporting one particular, uh, one particular participant, and what they find is that particular participant has not been able to make it to the next round. And therefore, what they decide is that, hey, there's something wrong with this. So that, that, that's where it starts this allegation of this show being scripted. The second point of why this looks scripted is for the fact that the contestants, several contestants themselves have come out of the show. For example, you got Karate Kalani of the Big Boss. And then we also have uh, anchor Devi who came out of the Big Boss show Telugu. And when these people were eliminated, they are, in fact they are the third and the second uh, participants of the Big Boss Telugu to be eliminated. When they came out of the show, they made allegations saying that they were really surprised as to why they were eliminated. They really didn't think that they were really performing so badly. And therefore, it was a surprise to them as to why they should be eliminated. So that's the kind of uh, statements which actually come out, came out from the horse's mouth, which is actually the participant. So you have several instances across the last decade in which contestants have come out of the media. They have made allegations saying that the show looks scripted and I was told to say this and I was told to do that, that kind of thing. Uh, of course, these are in the realm of alle allegations. Uh, basically, when, when the organization or behind Big Boss signs an agreement with a participant, of course, he has given money, he or she has given money, but when that person is asked to uh, appear in the show, there is a certain bond sign. The bond says that you shouldn't be making allegations against the company. But then once a person is out of the house, there is no restriction on him to say anything or do against the show. So much of these allegations, as you say, of, of this show being scripted and the, of this show being uh, really fake, has come out from the fact that the audience perception because they feel that the people they have voted for are not really finding their way into the top five, top five. And also the participants who have come out and blasted the show saying that uh, they shouldn't have been eliminated. You can always put, put that kind of an, uh, yes. recriminations on the part of participants to so that. So happens. as we talk about voting, there's an interesting twist happened last week. So when Mahbub uh, act, uh, was actually facing least account of yes, votes, yes. but he was not eliminated from the show. So what's behind the scenes? Okay, now I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what is something in the realm of gossip. Okay. Because obviously we don't yes. know, the, sh the show guys wouldn't probably share with the kind of uh, methodology they use in elimination. Uh, th their idea is that of course uh, the person who gets the least amount of votes from the audiences is definitely eliminated. Yeah. Now Mahbub's uh, performance was very studious. He, he is a good dancer. He did participate in all the mission and he tried to please everybody. In fact, in during one of the episodes he did say that he is feeling neglected because he tries to help everybody 
but he's not being given the that kind of respect and what should he more do so i can understand he that that's to the acting distance more emotionally than playing the game probably probably also it is uh, probably i this we can discuss later also as to the background of the participants mm. uh, mehboob probably comes from guntur uh, and uh, he has been a tiktok artist most of his uh, adult career okay. his popularity comes from being on tiktok and he has huge number of youth followers but as to interacting with a larger group of celebrities and mini celebrities in a compact environment in an urban environment where so many different kinds of attitudes and egos come to play that's something probably he's still not adjusted to and he's still not accustomed to other participants perhaps they have had instances in their own life in which they managed to interact and talk to several people and perhaps they are more comfortable in adjusting and talking and interacting with people maybe he wasn't able to do that and he is seen this one but what you said about the fans saying that his elimination is wrong that could be kind of true we do know uh, we do know that he didn't receive this amount of votes but then that's anecdotal the amount of votes which the data on amount of votes is released by the company itself yes and we can make our assumption based on only on that data and that data showed that on that particular day he wasn't the person who got the least amount of votes but on other occasions there are several mitigating factors which actually ensured that he still remain on the show and someone else got eliminated so it's a very very dicey kind of an elimination it's process. It's also some tricky which also played by the producers or the, uh, the house boss behind the big boss. Possible, absolutely possible because obviously uh, the big boss show wants to be treated as respectable. They want to be treated as credible. They want to be treated as a show which actually depends on the audiences to pull and to uh, put in their boards so that they audience they there isn't audiences feel they are part of the show and they are the people who decide who should be eliminated who should be in the show and who should get the final prize money so much of the effort of the producers of this particular show is to ensure is to give a veneer of respectability of uh, approval uh, receive their approval from the audiences and therefore i'm sure anything which should they do in terms of uh, in terms of uh, uh, or something which looks odd with the, with the kind of uh, behavior of participants they wouldn't call it of course we do know that the audience always tend to react negatively when one of the well, on the same line if you talk something about contestants more in deep so selection of contestants is something more major which uh, big boss takes a prior decision which which was in the upper hand of the boss of the show so how are they selecting the contestants what are the priorities what are the eligibility criteria of the contestant to participate in the show no that's that's a very uh, a topic of big research and nobody has been crack, able to crack that particular code as to how are the contestants selected there's no particular formula to it okay there, there's a there's a team of uh, end okay. india in, mm -hmm. up there in mumbai and they do research they have group of researchers who research personalities people who are in the news people who can likely make news or people who can be belligerent people who can fight uh, in a, probably not the physical fight but people who can demonstrate uh, the kind of smoothness or kind of ability to attract audiences to them now much of this uh, much of this uh, selection process you can put it down to the fact that uh the producers think the audience is voyeuristic and in that respect they want someone who they think will attract attention when he is on camera so perhaps that's the kind of uh, uh, selection proce process they have in mind also yesterday when we spoke to one of the contestants mahesh kati okay. mahesh kati is a film critic and he has been there on uh, one of the seasons of big boss and when i asked him mahesh tell us why like Uh, what is the, the same question as which you put in okay. as wha what's the criterion for selection of the participants so his answer was very interesting what he said was uh, well uh, somebody from mumbai team what he meant was the mumbai selection team mm -hmm. they called him to hyderabad they called him uh, from mumbai and they said hey uh, we are looking for uh, participants for the big boss telugu and would you be okay to appear in our show and i said fine Mm -hmm. it looks like a good opportunity till then you are just a film critic and eh? perhaps read only in the trade magazines or people who are aware of the film or people who read film reviews per se 
But then he also, when he went to Mumbai, and he asked, "Why, why, why am I being selected? And what do you think is what is the worth uh, or uh, I will factor I bring to this particular show?" He was told that the big boss in Mumbai, as in the original uh, versions which were in Hindi, mm -hmm. they have a format which actually says that they need people of different kind of vocations, different kind of um, a demography, and who can appeal to different kind of audiences. So they wanted someone on the likes of Rajiv Masand. Mm -hmm. So Rajiv Masand is a popular film critic in Mumbai. He reviews and he has a kind of combative style. So when he speaks or when he talks to actors of Bollywood and interviews them, he has a kind of a very smooth and combative style. He looks like an everyday man who can handle things very easily. So they wanted someone of that category to fill the film category, uh, critic category. And therefore Mahesh said that, therefore when they called him, and that's the reason why he was selected for Big Boss. So that's that's a, so probably they have they have slots. Big Boss uh, team probably has slots written on that. They want a film critic, they want a dancer, they want a singer, they want a TV actor, they want someone who's like extremely boring, okay. or probably someone who's a producer. I mean, they, they want a mix of, of personalities whose egos mm. the producers feel will definitely clash clash on the show, and which can actually result in very good television entertainment hmm. and obviously very good TRPs. That's amazing. So TRP is a point of which uh, the game show always focus on. So what is the majority of TRP points these particular big boss is focusing on? Especially one point under rumor is the audience are assuming uh, that the big boss producers or the directors are uh, requesting the contestants to uh, have a physical, like I mean, they, they want you're saying that they want to uh, show instance of intimacy between the participants, obviously, like, like yes. kind of romance, browsing response. Yeah, so if that is happening, if that is corrected, or if it is actually happening in the house, okay, l let's let's take it from the common man's perspective, Vasavi. Okay, let's Im imagine there are like hundreds of cameras there. Where do two people in love go to? They go to places which are abandoned. They go to places which are where they have some kind of privacy, or they probably uh, go to places where no one will notice them. And that's the ideal kind of setting for a romance. Okay, it's not that you have ten people watching you every moment, ten cameras watching you. Not, I won't say ten cameras. They're like probably 20, 25 cameras spread across big boss. In such a uh, scenario. Do you think romance can really de develop in that particular f atmosphere? Definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Definitely yeah. not. So, even if the, let's assume that the participant have been, uh, participants have been, uh, they're like physically attracted to each other and they have been in this enclosed space for like 10 days, 20 days, 30 days and all the way up to 100 days, which is the kind of the duration of the entire Big Boss. And when you are Closeted when you're put in a confined space for so many days altogether, it's natural for people to have a kind of affection for each other. So I wouldn't say that uh, there are romances which have been created or which have developed on the set. I would say that the fact that people are staying in living close so close to each other, they're seeing them day in day out, they, they know how they cope, they do how they react, they know how the people dress and they know how they react to other people getting angry and they know how they are when they're angry. So that kind of, uh, and when you know a person, it's natural for, a, for two persons to be attracted to the kind of other person is. But I would still put it down more to affection and I wouldn't say that there's real romance. Now, the point you're making, Vasu, you're probably saying that yeah. is romance contrived? I would say the romance is still contrived, at least on the part of the social media team, on the part of publicity material which is let out, so to say, by the producers to the audiences at large, the people at large, there is a hint that there is a blossom uh, romance between two participants and usually it is the younger lot or probably the older lot also. But that's a kind of a bubble, it's kind of a balloon which is raised to trigger audience reactions and see what they are staring at. And uh, there are uh, instances, you probably know once what happens to these couples which you see once they are out of the big boss. Well, on the same line, if we talk something more about the uh, scenes which they let out for the audience, 
Uh, why they select only these kind of scenes? Because we like approx uh, around the day we have 24 hours and in which they will give us only 45 minutes of show per day. But particularly they focus on these uh, uh, scenes which are uh, either gives out a controversy or if it uh, brought out fight among the contestants or if it gives out uh, something so interesting to watch. So why? Why this is happening with the show? Okay, now, uh, you know, the answer to that is, uh, can be uh, treated in from two different perspectives. One perspective is from uh, the company itself. Now, let me read out a small kind of a clarification which was issued by the company, the origin, original producers of Big Boss Hindi. Yeah. And uh, this is a comment made several years back. And I'll just quote, uh, the, the person quoted is Abhishek Rege. Okay. He is the CEO of Endemol Shine India, which is a parent company which uh, holds the copyrights and which actually directs all the Big Boss uh, shows. Uh, so when he, when he was asked that, uh, What's the challenge in Big Boss? And do you think exactly the kind of questions which you put to me? And he says that the challenge is that they can't control what the contestants do or say after a certain point of time as it is a new world for them. So what he's trying to say is that once the contestants are in the Big Boss house, they even if we assume that at initial stages everyone has been coached or several days or several occasions are given slips of paper to talk to. But then once they are inside the Big Boss house, over a period of time there is no control, effective control of the organizers, of the producers on what the participants may say or do. So Reggae, who is, oh, again I am quoting him, from uh, he, uh, the then CEO I think of Endemol Shine India, he says, and I quote, we will always follow the point where we won't interfere with what a person is saying. We don't see a lot of stuff that is being said. Let me stop it here as in the audience. We don't see a lot of stuff that is being said inside as we delete it. So, okay. yeah, so he's saying that a lot of stuff over 24, because you probably know that the entire day's producing uh, proceedings are edited overnight and the next morning, probably by what it should launch time, at 10 o'clock you get to see the day's proceedings, the next day. So what he used to say is that we don't see a lot of stuff that is being said inside as we delete it and we don't just edit it and put it on air. He said we don't like somebody, we kind of exercise some kind of caution. And what caution is just mentioning? He says that, however, there are times when we, unfortunately, have to put something up because it's part of a larger uh, story that we can't avoid. What he means to say is that if a participant has spoken the previous day about some personal tragedy in their lives, and some references to that tragedy also happened on the day two in which the telecast is being edited. So that reference they can't remove because it's a continuation of the previous lament or the previous statement by the, mean by the participant. That can't, they can't remove. So saying that that's retained. He further says that uh, since we, they can't avoid because it's a larger part of the story that we can't listen, or it's actually showing an opposite reaction to someone else's action that has taken place in the house before. So this is what it means that if somebody has reacted to X person, uh, Y has reacted to X person the day before saying that, hey, you didn't wash the plates and that was the day before. So, and this person has reacted today and of course the producers have to show that this particular person has reacted today to something which happened a day back. So those kind of, so what we see in the edited format of the show which is presented to us as the final edit of the big boss is actually a show which is heavily edited. Obviously we can't be watching a group of participants fighting it out 24 by 7. That's so true. that's yeah, so that's the edited portion which you see and in that edit portion, edited portion what the producers say is that certain references are kept there is a lot of uh, references kept for con say continuity, there is a fight and also not everything uh, which is uh, malicious against somebody or which probably involves bad usage of any word is retained or probably if it is retained and it can't be deleted then probably it's, it goes big, big, big. So that is the kind of edit which happens. So you are free to guess what could be edited and what could be eliminated in the final edit which you see daily. Well, interestingly, I have a question now. 
something a uh, few contestants uh, present themselves so hilarious and they make fun of everything even they make fun of the co contestants they make fun of even big boss sometimes so uh, is this comedy uh, is scripted like if the contestants is informed by the big boss house directors to make such comedies or the person or the personality of the contestant is that way so uh, there are two possibilities in this both about are equally correct the first possibility is that uh, according to the statement made by endomol again we have to we have to actually take both sides of the argument and what endomol says that once the contestants are in the big boss house they have no effective control over what the contestants say or do okay so let's take them at the face value the second part is that uh, if the contestants are saying according to a script now my take would be uh, this um, from my understanding of or oh, i have seen several quite a few big boss shows and my understanding is that these uh, the contestants who make those particular kind of comments or who create a kind of a viral scene viral less and little viral scene all this on they are doing it essentially to attract the audience so in one sense it may not be scripted by the person it can be probably could more self scripted by the participant himself the okay. second thing is the th probably the third thing the third thing is any situation can become viral or look scripted if the other person also reacts very furiously usually in in an most of the controversies are basically fights between two contestants they are not like silent fights i like i don't like you i don't like you not gonna really hard solid Galio all of fights. Okay. Okay, which sometimes are beat. So those are the fights which are like diamonds to the producers. But obviously, not all the fights are scripted. It does happen that the egos may clash. But then again, we come back to the fact that to show those fights or not is the prerogative of the show producers. Yes. They decide that which fights to show. I am sure on a given day. There are at least two to three fights happening in Big Boss, and do we get to see all the fights? No, we need to probably see one or two fights, and that could perhaps mean that any fight which you've seen could be something which, in their view, is really good. Take your example. In case you watch Big Boss, which are the fights which really come to your mind? Mostly the fights of Harika. Yeah. So generally, the fights of Harika would be a. Uh, between the groups majorly, mm -hmm. so I feel that uh, when you, uh, the particular contestant is more targeted when these fights are happening, uh, is it just because Harika has a good strong voice, or uh, is the Big Boss is uh, highlighting her voice more and her fights more and presenting her fights more in the show and uh, giving the audience that or? If the show is trying to create any kind of personality of an Harika that she is a bossy lady, or what's happening there? So Harika is definitely a strong contestant. Yeah. Okay, she is a very young, budding uh, uh, entertainer. She has created in space for herself, and uh, she has been very voluble. Yes. In fact, some of the dance which she portrayed were very risk, and uh, I appreciate the kind of value she brings uh, to the particular show. Uh, in this particular instance, which you are talking about, I do clearly remember that she did raise her voice, she did raise her uh, temperament in that particular instance. But then again, uh, the fact that the parts, the producers tried to give more of that footage or probably give her a wider scope, it does point to the fact that, in their estimation, they felt that this particular statement by Harika, the kind of aggression Harika showed. on the camera is something which audiences would like and i think they were uh, their assessment was really a uh, nice one because harika till that point had been a goody goody girl uh, she had gone along with uh, all the participants and only towards this particular episode when she felt that this is uh, water has a lot of water has flown over her head it's then she decided that she would uh, take up the fight and therefore perhaps that's the reason why uh, the organizers choose to give that particular statement of us a wider berth and that's how you find uh, that's how you find uh, more uh, space for uh, harika in that particular episode i have several other uh, contestants uh, and the way they have performed there have been physical fights there have been verbal abuses also now it's natural for uh, two men to fight because uh, obviously uh, 
let us assume that for, for lack of any specific uh, studies that men are more to aggression. But then again, there are also cases when there are cat fights and women also fight. So there is no specific category which is prone to fighting and taking up cudgels on behalf of each other. What we do know is that the fights seem nearly real, of course. The participants, when they enter the big balls, they are only aware of the past references and past instances when such fights and such uh, uh, struggles within the big house, such controversies, they have generated huge amount of traction outside of big balls and that is one kind of attention, negative attention, which they definitely would like to have. And I think the participants, it's not, it's not play. In fact, we keep hearing this word, no, that Yes. Well played. So when we talk about the attention, so Big Boss is getting special entries in the name of wildcard entries. So recently we have uh, Abhishek, Sai. Abhishek, yes. Yes, Sai and also yeah. Sai and Swati. Yeah. So these three are the new for the Big Boss house and uh, they are also uh, one of the contestants also nominated for uh, Elimination. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's very yeah. unfortunate. Very yeah. unfortunate that they just no time. Yeah, yeah. They, they probably they did not have any time to settle down. Exactly. But they had look at the wardrobe, what look at the air conditioning there. So, if it is like a guest performance, if they are not really uh, take up the contestants into the game uh, for a longer time while these entries are happening, is it for an attention or just to bring out a uh, uh, curiosity among the audience? Is it a trick by Big Boss? Why? I, I, I think, uh, Vasvi, uh, these wildcard entries are actually meant to uh, append uh, the TRPs. They are it's kind of a surprise element. Let us assume you have a family party going on and someone just drops in, someone everybody the least expected, or someone who's like very controversial or someone who can generate a kind of friction, who can generate a kind of uh, aberration in the calm water, so to say, of Big Boss, when the person comes into the studio as a, as a wild card, there are chances of fresh uh, loyalties and fresh uh, friendship, uh, friendships emerging. There's a kind of fresh uh, traction happening. So the wild card entries are basically the kind of glue. They are kind of the lubricant to the entire dynamics of Big Boss House. Once you have a, a wild card entering, what it does is it probably speeds up the slowing down machine, so to say, in term, metaphorical terms, of the Big Boss uh, house. Uh, perhaps over oh, several episodes, the participants get to know each other, they can kind of get comfortable, there are no fights happening, and per perhaps everyone is happy with the food, or perhaps everyone has got an equation set with each other, and there are no controversies happening, except perhaps the much uh, publicized romance kind of thing. So the entry for wildcard actually stimulated, gives a new spin to the entire Big Boss house. And that spin actually propels the entire the Big Boss house to perhaps uh, a few more episodes and perhaps go to TRPs. But it's very unfortunate, personally, very really unfortunate yes. that you have wildcard entries and just when they're like, they're badly beyond the, yeah, beyond food and they have eliminated. And then I'm sure once they come out, they're probably going, they're going hammer and tongs at the Big Boss who are being eliminated. Of course, the show organizers can definitely say that uh, in the short time which these uh, wildcard entries were there, their performance was, was not really something really nice and really audiences like and therefore they eliminated it. But we do know that uh, the early bird gets the... If goal. really the elimination process is happening uh, after the report of the performance of the contestants or the poll of the audience, how the elimination is happening? So the elimination is basically uh, what the audience. organizers say, it's, it's audience poll, definitely. So, that it, it, okay. It, yeah, every, every week there is a vote mm -hmm. and the vote decides who stays back and who this one and then there is a grand, uh, grand finale uh, every week in which uh, Big Boss addresses all the participants who probably are seated on the, wide, the widest sofa I have ever seen in my life, is a round sofa and then the Big Boss holds forth on on how each participant performed and what's happening there and probably also tries to resolve issues which participants are facing. There's the kind of open house, so to say, for the big boss participants. But what's happening is, in this open house, a lot of the previous uh, fights and uh, friction between all of these participants come to the fore and then 
that also becomes another opportunity for big parts participants to share what somebody did or not somebody. I remember a particular big boss show in which uh, a woman participant actually uh, was silent throughout the episode. And when this particular open house round was happening, she went hammer and tongs at a really a person considered a really sane and nice person because that person, the other person, he put his hand inside a suitcase and then rug match uh, her things. So that kind, she did not say initially, son, but she was deeply offended. And that kind of an feeling of offense came out into the open during this open house. So again, the open house was also instance for the uh, big boss to talk to the participants and was also a kind of uh, um, forum for the participants to share whatever they feel about each other. When this is happening, like uh, still the big boss try to put on some task for the contestant to complete it. So uh, if this task uh, is uh, done by the contestants directly or if they play genuinely or if uh, there is also a scene behind this task and the play? Well, the tasks are very interesting. Yes. <laughs> like, so they like teaching, uh, the, the, which is very popular. Kind of, I mean, it is uh, absolutely find it very funny that uh, one of one of them asked to uh, one of them asked to uh, what do you call it address all the students in terms of being the teacher and then other cases where uh, uh, they are asked to uh, grab something from the other team so these kind of struggles can, uh, contests are definitely happening but i'm pretty much sure that they're not so much scripted as the other things are Cool. Because they are, they are more in the nature of... At least of audience are fortunate in that play. <laughs> yes, yes. A little bit. Yes, yes. So then, uh, what would be the view of audience if uh, the gameplay is uh, completely trying out to be a scripted one? Because uh, in general, if we observe, uh, a lot of uh, contestants who are coming out of the Big Boss house are claiming that uh, this is not really what we wanted to do in the house. This is different. Uh, we were asked to say this. These were the few major dialogues said by many of the contestants who were out of the house. And uh, if we latestly observe that a uh, few um, contestants are also revealing these secrets and which also brought out a major controversy uh, for the Big Boss show. So is this really happening with the Big Boss? Oh. Many of, many of the contestants, of course, do have a grievance against Big Boss. That's true. That's true. Because they, their grievance is uh, uh, partly, in fact, majorly against the, the inmates of the Big Boss house. Those guys who have the electric line. Of course, when they come out, they, the Big Boss asks them, hey, what's happening? And what is the relation with X? And what is the relation with Y? Those questions are still being asked. But definitely, it's all said and done. Once they step out of the Big Boss house compound, out of the stage of Big Boss House, they are asked by the media as to what is happening. And at that point of time, they are free to say anything. Yes. Because one one thing is they are no longer under any obligation. Unlike the, mis, uh, unlike the beauty contests and beauty pageants, in which uh, the person who wins the pageant and who is groomed by a certain agency or the title sponsor or the agency which actually holds the beauty pageant, they have to correspond and agree and agree to a code of conduct set in by the agency. In Big Boss, of course, it's not that uh, restrictive. Once a participant is out of the big house, he is back to being a quote-unquote a civilian. Yes. Well, on the same line, uh, we have a latest uh, breaking update comes up that one of the old contestants of uh, last Big Boss season says she couldn't receive, the, uh, receive her uh, remuneration so far. So, if those remuneration issues are still happening? So, uh, some of the uh, remuneration, uh, although I'm not, a, definitely I'm not a spokesman for the uh, Big Boss House, but from what my understanding of the kind of money which, which are paid in lakhs to each part spent, some of the money is paid upfront, uh, and so some of the money is paid for the grooming, uh, kind of grooming they will, each participant will receive. Many of the participants have their own teams which handle their publicity outside. They handle the Instagram account, the social media account, the FB account. Yes. Uh, and many of them, like we have got Kaushal Mandas, uh, Team Kaushal Manda, Kaushal Mandas Army. Yeah. Uh, those kind of, of course, do receive kind of a funding from the participants themselves out of the money which Big Boss pays them. Now, once a participant is in the Big Boss house, 
his effective communication with his team is stopped. So what remains is that he communicates within his members. But the people, the team outside of Big Boss, all the particular uh, participants, they take care of the, all the publicity and all the kind of uh, situations and how to handle them. And they try to drum up, drum up support for each participant. Now, the moot uh, question being that if uh, the remuneration was paid or not, I think uh, and my guess is the remuneration was paid partly but not to the satisfaction of the participant. Okay. Uh, every participant has a right to think and well, right to feel. And also, it is also not in satisfaction of the participant that uh, how long they wanted to stay in the house of Big Boss. Absolutely. Now, it completely turned out to be a shorter one. Yes. Like, completely shorter, not even a week. Yeah. So, for, to a, for, this for a wild card entry, that's very disappointing. Yes. I mean, when you have told your family members and your audiences and your village and your Kumba and your house and your town and what not, your entire society, apartment society, and hey, I'm going for Big Boss. Obviously, you'll have at least 100 people closely watching you every step of the way. Yeah. And when you just like come out of it within like three, four days or next week, it's kind of disappointing. Yes. And they will be arranging so many things in and out to come into the house and then in no time getting out of the Absolutely. house. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's a kind of lockdown. <laughs> yeah, but I'm outside it's a virtual lockdown. The participant goes into the big boss house he, and uh, he's locked down for the entire duration. Except even the food is supplied within the house. He doesn't have to really work. And all the participants in the particular house are like, obviously, you probably uh, know the story that in the recent big boss house, every participant was checked beforehand for virus like symptoms, code virus like symptoms. There was a quarantine period of nearly 15 days and each participant, uh, at least the entire participants were separated, they were, uh, they were isolated, I would say instead of isolated, socially distanced from each other and the doctors kept on looking after the health and only when it was assumed that they are COVID free and they don't have any symptoms, either symptomatic or asymptomatic, but they are allowed because Having uh, having COVID outbreak inside a big boss show is definitely not a publicity which any. It's so appreciable. At least uh, big boss is uh, handling this COVID norms. At least if not in the house outside. Absolutely. And we could see no one maintaining social distancing anywhere in the Absolutely. house. Absolutely. Not any COVID norms. Uh, out of the street, still a free for all. In fact, one of the reasons for big boss popularity is the fact that uh, they uh, actually hurried up the show. I think. Hmm. I mean, in the sense that the show was to start earlier. Uh, perhaps in March, but the lockdown actually pushed the deadlines uh, several months back and it started only last month. Um, but it probably, uh, let's not be negative about it, <laughs> it did start at the time when audiences were uh, indoors, most families stayed indoors and there was le less of uh, uh, public um, entertainment available, less of bars and pubs and public entertainment centers and movie theaters were open, so it's natural that an entertainment show which had, uh, uh, which had, uh, uh, which was on television, which was available inside the house was more popular and therefore it had even more TRPs than perhaps any other entertainment show. So, uh, I have a curiosity here. So, what's the reason behind selecting Gangawa as a contestant for the Big Boss season 4? Ah, now that's a... Uh, uh, that's that's the thing which is uh, has uh, her selection actually mm -hmm. has been really appreciated by a lot of people. Yes, uh, in fact, and a lot many followers have been uh, also. Yeah, I think uh, till till she came on television, mm -hmm. I was faintly aware of a personality called Nangaba. Okay, but once she came on the show, that usually happens. That Big Boss does give a huge fillip to kind of guys, and that's the reason why so many people are dying to be willing to be. Locked up. Yeah. Yeah, locked up for like 100 days in a virtual prison, so to say, for 100 days just to be uh, seen on screens. Ganga was, of course, uh, uh, is, a, is a farmer. Uh, she comes from the rural hinterlands of, uh, of Telangana. And uh, she, her life, she's undergone a lot of hardships. Uh, she lost her husband uh, who didn't treat her well. And therefore, uh, it was a huge turning point in her life when two neighborhood uh, youths who had a kind of family to YouTube and social media, they started uh, taking interest in the way she speaks and the way she talks. And there's a lot of common sense in which, which Ganga brings onto the screen. That kind of common sense uh, is something which uh, I'm not saying that the participants lack, but it's a different kind of common sense which she speaks of. Many participants have actually, in this current season of Big Boss, have gone to her and asked her suggestions. But of course, 
I find it kind of uh, wire stick in this fact that they involve someone who's like plus 60 in this particular show and then they'll try to capitalize on our, po uh, on our uh, popularity which is definitely and, uh, she has owned. But in particular sense in this, there are uh, people who are actually uh, in offer and there are participants who go consult her for uh, for kind of an uh, elderly advice, but uh, all said and done, I find her presence a kind of an uh, aberration because uh, in one sense, there's this whole gang of open eyes and uh, entertainment and uh, and then you've got very polished and really smart speaking individuals who have a certain outlook towards life and on the other side you have Gangawa. Perhaps the addition of one more character or the likes of Gangawa would have really helped uh, uh, allow her company because you know this instance the fact that perhaps in the second or the third week of the show Gangawa actually felt probably homesick and then she had uh, to consult a doctor. So, so uh, Ganga's presence is definitely appreciable, but then it does come with certain kind of an, a certain kind of aberration. Uh, many passports, of course, have started liking her for the kind of uh, kind of value she brings and the kind of uh, uh, common sense she brings. And of course, she has got an excellent uh, grasp of the vocabulary of Telangana, and that's something audiences really love about her. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and also because there's so much concern about the language the contestants use in the yes, house. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, Monal Gaja. I told you about Monal Gaja. Yeah. She's so also trying to learn uh, Telugu. What, what do you think about Mor You have watched Big Boss. I have a quite a dear, interesting one. So, as the Big Boss strongly recommends the Telugu language of the yeah, yeah, yes, yes. why we are choosing uh, contestants like Monal and Rashika who hardly have a knowledge on Telugu? I, I, I think I can definitely, I have a viewpoint on this. Cool. And, but would you like to try give a hand at why you think Monal Gajo was selected and why despite her obvious lack of fluidity, uh, fluency in English, uh, sorry, in Telugu, she's still there. What do you think is like? So, that? coming to my personal opinion on selecting both of the contestants, uh, being an audience part, uh, I won't agree with the decision of the big boys selecting them as the contestants because if uh, uh, the priority of uh, big boys is to present complete Telugu entertainment for the Telugu audience, yes. we shouldn't be doing it. But then again, we have seen Telugu celebrities switching effortlessly between Telugu and Hindi. How yes. that I accepted perhaps in the movies where they strongly uphold uh, their own mother tongue, but in general a sphere of in press conferences they easily oscillate yes. between Telugu. So, but. So why this, do you think that this kind of huge restriction on speaking only Telugu is justified? Uh, uh, it's a controversy. It's, it's, no, really to take it's it. not something about uh, uh, huge restrictions on particular Telugu language, but uh, the Big Boss is a show in which uh, not only the urban audience do watch it, but also the rural audience has uh, much of... Uh, interest to watch or something in detail about and where uh, if the rural audience who knows only Telugu is watching the show they are not understanding what they are actually uh, talking and then they miss out the conversation completely so uh, I believe uh, it would be more better if only the Telugu contestants are prioritized though I, may, I understand that uh, the both Munal and Rashikar has a huge popularity in even among the Telugu audience, but still, uh, it would be more better if we could uh, could get out uh, our Telugu audience for to bring up our Telugu uh, lives more in a better way. So I also want to know. Uh, I also want to suggest the Big Boss House that uh, if there is some uh, language uh, change happening, they can eliminate the scenes. If the contestant is using uh, Telugu, Hindi, or English like uh, uh, the language which is not familiar to the Telugu audience, they can eliminate such language and put out uh, into the audience which the audience can understand and which is completely an easy way to know.
Why? Mo Mona Devils is definitely, uh, I think she's an attractive uh, woman. Okay. Uh, attractive participant and uh, her kind of dance is definitely an attractive factor. She has been an actor, of course. She's acted in uh, movies in Telugu and Kannada and Hindi and also Gujarati. She's basically a Gujarati and uh, when she made her entry on the Big Boss podium, on the first day she was asked this question, and uh, someone will tell us by Nagarjuna, the, the host Nagarjuna, someone will tell us uh, how fluent are you in, uh, in Telugu. So she did make an honest promise saying that yes, I've been trying to uh, improve on my Telugu and definitely as the show progresses you will see a positive improvement in the way I speak Telugu and that kind of promise uh, was the promise she made at the starting but of course she wasn't probably a whole managed to hold on to the kind of promise. Later on, later on of course uh, we find the other participants also trying to adjust to or make adjustments to the kind of uh, a kind of an semi uh, Hindi, Telugu or English mix uh, which Monol is trying to put forward and therefore uh, Monol's Gajas presence is something of an anachronism but I do understand that what when she when she when she speaks and when she talks on the screen Monol is is, is, a, is a nice person to look to of course initially there are a lot of uh, uh, instances when she's tried uh, probably getting audience sympathy uh, for uh, uh, for uh, for the condition of a family of how when she grew up they used to walk uh, probably kilometers to reach the school and all so that kind of uh, stories do, did attract the audience yes uh, so uh, in the same vein if you talk about the background of the contestants something more in detail uh, like we have a, a wild card entry contestant recently uh, she is also in the elimination zone this time, uh, Swati Dikshit. So, uh, the struggle... Is Swati Dikshit one of your favorite uh, participants? Uh, yes. And wh wh why, why do you think she is a favorite? Uh, because... And why do you like her? Uh, I like her because of her performance, her skills, and specifically she is more into the Telugu audience as a Telugu girl, and she always want to uh, promote herself as a Telugu uh, actress and also an Indian actress. Well, uh, we could observe many actresses that once uh, she once they hit some movies in Telugu and they just would like to switch on to yes, yeah, yeah. and uh, probably Bollywood or yes. probably go down to Mariam or Tamil yeah. to see us and she will also motivate her people and audience and all her followers all the time keeping in touch with uh, all of them through social sites and she will also present uh, many healthy tips uh, such as uh, easy yoga practices and workout tips and much more. She is also one last just like me. Uh, so so probably you, you see a reflection of uh, yourself in her. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. So here you know, she is also a kind of personality who has much talent uh, into her, and uh, she was also uh, she was also to be a contestant in the previous seasons, but uh, she just missed out the opportunity because of her personal reasons. And you are really sorry that she was I eliminated. Yes, I do feel because uh, she must be doing a certain chance to be in the show and prove herself for some time because she just entered into the house of four or five days back and suddenly into the elimination zone which might definitely uh, put her into a shocking zone which where she cannot yeah, even concentrate on her lifestyle when she gets back I, to I agree. Tomorrow. The chances that she could be eliminated? Oh, money. Yes. Okay. So, and also, vote must be there for her part, but I believe she has enough voting, uh, but I don't think so, what's the play behind is something called as audience voting got her eliminated, because there are a number of fans for her, she's an Indian actress, worked in Tamil, uh, Telugu, and many different languages, Bengali also, she's also a very number one actress where Bengali audience should also uh, expecting her to be in a top level in the Big Boss show, but uh, unfortunate it is that she is into a danger zone. Uh, many Telugu audience also, the, uh, not only social media, something called less Instagram, Facebook, but also in Twitter, the uh, hype is coming out that uh, Big Boss need to present one more chance for Swati Dikshit to be in the house and prove herself. So do you think Big Boss will present her such chance? Big Boss should present her this one. I mean, at least as, as a co-host of the show, I deeply feel that uh, 
Urdu arguments are definitely justified in the sort of arguments which you made for Swati Dikshit and she should be on the show, uh, she should get the party in support but this is very really important, she should probably get the audience support on her side. Perhaps what's happening is either the audience is not reacting too favorably to her, they really don't know her or perhaps they haven't gotten to the fact that here is a versatile actress who has acted, they have, they're looking perhaps only at the presence of Swati Dikshit inside the Big Boss house and through that narrow prism they haven't really found enough stuff to vote for her. Again, let's also give a benefit of doubt to the fact that she was probably brought in just to be eliminated. She was brought in, let us assume that, that that could be truth. I know it's a very a sorry state, yes. a very negative kind of a thinking. Let us assume not for, acceptable uh, for, for the fans of Swati. Absolutely. Let, let us assume for the sake of argument that such a, such a thing exists, that the, that, uh, that the or producers of the show want her out. But again, I also think that the other factors in which, which couldn't, are not really helping Swati Dikshit. Primarily to the fact that her team has not been able to muster enough support for her outside. There have not been enough voters or audiences who have actually voted for Swati. So I think in case you are really rooting for her, and let us also all root for her, but she needs to get her act together, her team needs to get her act together. So this is the two-pronged strategy, both of her performance inside the house, she has to append it, and also her team outside has to really try to do everything it can to draw more support and attention for Swati. Yes, that's obviously there. But uh, anyway, uh, we are expecting the elimination episode of Swati must be turning into some twists and turns. Might, she might be getting into a uh, secret room where like as uh, in the last season which has happened with the Rahul Sipli Ganj. So we are also expecting that kind of uh, gameplay might also be happen with Swati because uh, this is very unfortunate and uh, not only the fans of Swati, the general audience are also opposing the decision of Big Boss that uh, uh, eliminating Swati Dikshit in just matter of uh, four to five days in pres without presenting any kind of uh, challenge for her to prove herself. And also if we observe uh, in the show, or in the promos everywhere, the chance of uh, Swati presenting her talent or at least the dialogues of Swati is hardly seen in the Big Boss episode which is uh, actually happened for the 45 days. So it's where it's just they couldn't put on uh, a complete limelight on uh, Swati and it was uh, a very little play, little power of Swati in every episode which also bright marked uh, uh, early elimination for Swati. So I believe that not only Swati, if we talk, uh, I have not, not kept put. We are, we are yet to know about this uh, elimination. And this will happen into this weekend? Episode. Yes. Yes. So, so I, I probably would grieve in case she was eliminated and perhaps there will be a mini celebration in case she managed to retain her spot in the Big Boss house. But her, her uh, being there is, is, uh, is a function of several aspects of who she is and what she brings to the house. Mm, primarily the audiences, and we have audiences across uh, both the Telugu speaking states, we have audiences in Karnataka, we have audiences in Mumbai, in Delhi, we have audiences across the US and American diaspora. So every Telugu who watches the show and every Telugu who, um, non-Telugu who watches the show, they are looking keenly at uh, the kind of uh, interaction each participant happens to bring along within the house. So in case that kind of interaction happens, in case, in, in case the, that kind of an chemistry sparks, sparks fly when Swati is inside the house, that is definitely going to light up audience reaction and they're going to vote for her. But understand that several of the participants have been there for quite some time now. It's perhaps the third or fourth week of Big Boss House. These yes. participants have managed to reveal aspects of their personality. They have managed to uh, reveal their warts and molds and their weak spots and the strengths to the audiences. So despite any small or light uh, infraction on their part, 
uh, within the current series, especially in the episodes where SWAT is around, the audience are perhaps to utilize the prism of their earlier behavior, the earlier understanding of what these people are, and then make a judgment of, of the current participants. So that's an advantage for the participants who are already there. As for the participants who are newly joined, like SWAT Addiction, it's a huge disorder advantage, I definitely agree. And they come with, uh, of course, and wild entry car ticket is definitely welcome. We have to understand that other participants have spent X number of days within the, within the Big Boss house, whereas the wild card entry has not been subject to the same kind of quote-unquote torture of being inside an enclosed space. So it's, it is a toss-up. Between, yes. uh, between staying confined in a space of Big Boss House and uh, outside of it. Swati has enjoyed, uh, let's say enjoyed, for lack of a better word, <laughs> being outside Big Boss House and now she's there inside. It's a big struggle for her and definitely all the sympathies to fans of Swati Dixit. Well, on the other side, I personally don't uh, uh, support the idea of Big Boss uh, putting the contestants like wildcard entry contestants into the nominations in the first week itself because uh, this uh, this opinion is also coming out from large group of audience too where they are also claiming that they are also requesting Big Boss to present them at least a one week chance and uh, from the next week when they are into the uh, eyes of the audience then they can prove themselves that they can consider the votings of the audience on the count of the votes uh, for the nomin uh, for the elimination and the nominations thing they can consider later. So uh, this uh, personal opinions among the audience is uh, going viral and they are really opposing and this is also turning out to be a very difficult part for the wildcard contestants to win the show. Until date no wildcard entry contestant has won the yes, show. Yes, that's true. Wildcard entry, wildcard is like, a, it's probably a wildcard. It's so wild that people have not really been to been able to kind of uh, gain any kind of hold into this particular show. Uh, wildcard entries are typically have been people who have been introduced into a certain point of the show to kind of lubricate the show, kind, to kind of propel the show ahead and therefore uh, uh, it's totally expected that wildcard entries would be there for a certain period of time. It's very rare for wildcard entries to actually stay for a longer duration of time. If they do manage to stay, they stay because of the sheer willpower and the kind of performances they bring to uh, the show. But having said that, this is another instance of how Zero uh, of Big Boss is actually uh, not a script, is not a reality show, but more of, of a scripted reality show. And therefore, anything which is there on Big Boss needs to be taken with a pinch of salt. In case you are aware, the, the kind of counting, the way of counting, the way the participants are selected, everything boils down to the fact that there are so many innumerables and imponderables in this particular show that we can't, that we can't really, with the sun. <laughs> 